Ryan Murphy. He properly opened up to you guys about his experience making the show. Were there any things that you learned during the podcast that you didn't know before yourself? Oh, certainly. I mean, from the fact that Justin Timberlake was, um, you know, in, kept in mind for Mr. Shu initially wow. was a shocker for us. <laughs> um, but also just just um, all the things that he divulged and kind of opened up about. We were really grateful that he came in and set the tone for the rest of, um, you know, the way we, we go about interviewing our guests and the Glee family and the people we have on. Um, you know, I was really just surprised to hear him kind of talk about the how he would have handled things in, you know, in terms of mental health in the workplace now um, versus mm the way it was in 2009, which it wasn't kind of something that you discussed or was an issue. So, um, you know, we were just really grateful, honestly, for how raw and authentic he was willing to be with all of us. Yeah, that was great. He, he shared his insights into Glee, what it did for the cast, but also what it did to the cast. Had you thought about it that way before? No, that was really, <laughs> we were really, um, it really resonated with both of us, both me and Kevin, when he said that out loud for mm. the first time um, during the, the the first episode we recorded um, for the podcast, because honestly, it, it it's the thesis of our podcast now. It generally is is so um, it rings so true with how we we look at our experience, what it did to us versus what it did for us. We are so grateful for what it did, all the doors it opened, the bucket list items that we got to check off, but versus the mental health aspect and the and the wear and tear that it did on all of us as individuals and having spent that much time in such a, um, a bubble, but that became you know, a juggernaut for the world. That was definitely something that I think we are going to take with us on this podcast journey.